right, watch fans. I got another one. I know it's been a long time since I've had a video. Uh, <clears throat> I'm in the process of moving, so I don't have a whole lot of time, quite honestly, uh, and I apologize. Um, I'm going to be moving in about a month, so my videos are going to be sporadic. Um, probably for at least the next two, three months, I'll try and get a few in. Uh, maybe I'll get a weekend free, and I will try to bust out several. I've got six watches that I have yet to actually do. So, uh, again, I don't know what this one is, but uh, I got so many, it's yellow. So I'm wondering if it's an Invicta. Let's see. Ooh, Nautica. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Well, wow, nice. This will be my first Nautica. I never opened one. Oh, man, that is a nice one. Look at this. This is the... Okay. Well, I'll update it. The Nautica... Napsifus... Okay, whatever. I'll have it at the bottom there. This is gorgeous. All right. Well, let's see if I can so find a quick video uh, about Nautica. And I will put it up. And then we'll come back. Alright guys, so first off, this is a fantastic watch. Um, very inexpensive, I will say. Uh, I think it's probably, I don't know what I paid. I got it on the the Watch Gang, uh, I don't know, Wheel 1. Uh, it wasn't very much. I think it was possibly like maybe $50, if even that. Uh, but I'll put that down there at the bottom so you can see how much I actually spent. Um, let me get some of these things off. I am going to sell this just because I have too many watches and... Quite honestly, I, I uh, even though I, I love the watch, it's very nice. I just I just don't have room with me moving. I'm actually going to be pulling out a lot of these watches for quite a bit less than what I actually paid. So, boohoo for me, but uh, is what it is. So Nautica is somewhat of a I don't know what you would call them, but a fashion watch. Uh, you know, they make clothes and stuff too, but they also have a distinctive style. So personally, I think it's a little bit more of a nicer style of watch than what you might get from say kenneth cole or guess right which are not watchmakers neither is nautica um and i'll show in a video up here i think the i'll show a picture up here the movement is a no jewel quartz it's actually a ladies uh quartz movement which is perfectly okay uh you don't need anything bigger than that uh this does not have any additional complications it's just a very simple three-hand watch it uses the Epson uh, Miyota Y153E, I think it is, but I'll have a picture of it right there, and I'll put some confirmation, additional information on there. Uh, very simple, simple movement. Uh, I replaced the battery while I had it open just because I did, uh, and I have so many of them, <laughs> so it's it's uh, pretty inexpensive for me to do so. The watch strap is fantastic. Uh, it is not overly uh, expensive, but it is a nylon watch strap, which I really, really enjoy these. I have several watches, um, and you know, a lot of the companies are starting to come out with those. Like you can see, here's um, here's a really nice one from Citizen. It's got a very nice nylon strap, leather back. I'm not sure why you would put leather backing on a um, on a nylon strap watch, but I'm a big fan of those. Um, it's a simple brushed 316 stainless steel case. This is a hardened mineral mineral crystal. It is not sapphire by any means. Um, I wouldn't say that this is laser etched. I think this would be acid etched, which if you were, I don't know, depends on what kind of school you went to. Sometimes they did that in in uh, arts in, in art class. If you ever had metal and you just, I think, what was it? You would put tape over the areas that you didn't want um, to be laser uh, to be acid etched and then you would cut it out with a razor blade and then you'd pour acid over it uh quickly for about 10 minutes and then you pull the tape off clean it and there you go so this is it uh very nice attractive watch there really isn't going to be too much to uh, discuss on this um again this is uh, uh here, here we go msrp is 89 dollars. i don't think i paid that so i will um I'll put that at the bottom, what I actually paid, just so you can see. 
Uh, the box is quite nice. I mean, you don't expect much for it, right? But it's a good, cool box. I don't know that you'd actually ever keep it. Um, it's good and protected. The uh, It comes with a one-year warranty. Uh, it's got full manual. There's not much to it, right? I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. It's real simple. Um, it does have a hacking feature, so when you pull it out, it no longer goes, so you can save say power with these epsons usually you can get up to quite honestly eight years um pulled out and usually about three i, I would say three years with normal use um i've already set this to uh, radio time so this is the correct time but very gorgeous watch i mean i really like it this is a this is a fun watch i'm gonna be selling it um i have seven and a half inch wrist so you can kind of see let me move these things out of the way i'm gonna put this on briefly i'm still gonna sell this as new i know i'm wearing it for a short period of time, but it's just for demonstration. But I have seven and a half inch wrist. It's a very nice, nice watch. It really shows well. Um, fantastic. God, I almost don't want to sell this. It's always a difficulty for me, you know, because I love these watches and these Nauticas are, are fantastic. Let me just go ahead and do some measurements so we can kind of get that out of the way. I'm going to say maybe 42, 43. 43 width the log i'm gonna say about a 20 yep perfect 20 and i'm gonna guess about 13 oh totally off on that one oh, it's on a roll we'll say a good even 11 11 and a half um and you know what let's let's check the loom i don't know what to expect i don't know how much there is i see the hands have some loom on them but uh we'll see All right, so just the hands, not entirely useful, but honestly, what really do you expect from a a watch that with MSRP is eighty nine dollars, and I think I got it for for what fifty seven, I think is what is what my cost was. This is a fantastic watch. I mean, this is something that you could keep for a long time, and you could just continue to replace the batteries. Uh, if you were so inclined and let's say years down the road, the movement stopped working, but it is a Miyota. So I don't really, um, I don't really see that being an issue. Uh, but if you were so inclined that you wanted to, uh, um, continue to do this, you could just replace the movement again. You could put almost anything in here. Uh, and you know, as long as you've got the, the right, uh, spacing for it, but fantastic good looking watch very inexpensive uh i'm really happy with it but again i have like 100 watches and i've got to sell them uh this one the water resistance is 50 meters which which is quite good um i mean i don't know what else you'd expect this isn't definitely not something you would want to take snorkeling really but you could i mean 50 meters is not bad you could go swimming with it and that would be acceptable um you could also uh, wash your dishes, uh, anything. This is a great all-around sport watch. Um, Low-impact sport watch, but uh, nevertheless, this is a great Nautica. I mean, it's a good boating watch, right? If you were just on a yacht and you were wearing some, you know, trendy shorts, right? Because you can't not cargo pants. Cargo pants are out of style. And a polo shirt and some dockers, right? This would go along with your outfit, so... <laughs> all right i hope you like this again i'm sorry that i haven't had a lot of videos i've just been super busy i still have like eight watches to open up but um just trying to get them out uh let me know what you think uh, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe uh, i will be more frequent on a regular basis uh, otherwise like subscribe and leave any comments below thank you very much